What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have a cool video on Serato Stems uh, 3.0. Very, very, very cool. Although it has been around for a while. Stems in general. Uh, Tractor had stems a long time ago. Virtual DJ has some stems that they've had for a while now. DJ Algorithm actually does a really good job with stems. Uh, because it's good that Serato has been uh, jumping on the bandwagon now to get this program out. I'm excited to check it out. Uh, but I wanted to show you this video. It's a quick tutorial on how to get this on a Windows machine. It's not too hard. Pretty simple. We're going to go through it. We're going to struggle through it together. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. I'm excited to bring you the material. If you like reviews, if you like item reviews, if you like tutorials, if you like... Uh, different kind of uh, item checks, please log into my uh, station, my channel, and uh, check me out, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. I like to do the research. I like to do a general overview, give you uh, pros and cons, and just try to help you guys can check out some of these products. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into the video on the Serato stems. Now, there is a couple of things I want to just point out. I would not do this on your gig computer. If you're a professional, you should already know this. Do not use your gig laptop to do this. Use a home laptop, something that you use. If you are a professional DJ, uh, you have a laptop that you should only be using for DJing. You should not be uh, surfing the internet on it, logging into the internet all the time, you know, just loading it up with stuff. That's not, you should only have certain programs that you use and that should be your DJ only computer. Use somebody else's uh, in the family maybe computer, say, hey, I wanna check, check this out and kind of mess with it. That way you don't mess up any of your library, you don't do things like that, because I have had issues already. I, I put this on a different laptop and it completely uh, tried to mix with my other Serato DJ. Now, if you do have Serato DJ Pro already on your laptop, you need to go into your settings you need to go into file. This is a Windows from the Windows perspective. This is Windows 10. It does work on Windows 11. It'll be similar. I'm, like I said, I'm using this on an older computer because I don't want to mess with my real live computer that I go live with. Okay, so then you're going to go to your C drive where you're, it's probably going to be or whatever drive you loaded Serato DJ. And then if you go down to your S's, you'll see Serato DJ Pro. You're going to want to click on that and you're going to want to change the name to Serato DJ Pro 2.8, whatever version you have, or maybe Serato DJ Live, so you know that's your live program, because uh, it'll actually load up a second one, that way it'll be like, that'll be your Serato DJ Pro Beta, and then you have Serato DJ Live. You don't want it to mix with your two programs, so because it's going to want to do that. And I had issues where they, even though I went in there and, try, and changed the name on both, you know, uh, the program file, and the shortcut file and everything before I did it, they still tried to mix together and then I had to uninstall both of them. Luckily, I did it on an extra computer that I don't really care about. So just to point that out, so you're gonna to wanna to go change the names on the programs itself. So this right now, this laptop does not have Serato DJ Pro on it. It doesn't have anything Serato on it. It'll be a fresh start for us to put Serato uh, DJ Pro, the beta, of stems on it. So just wanted to point that out. Make sure you change the name on your Serato DJ Pro that you already have on it in the program files um, and the shortcut if you have a shortcut or whatever. Change those first that way you know uh, where it is. Even if you go to your your little menu here and you go down to Serato DJ Pro, find it and change the name on it, okay? Don't do this on your real computer. Do this on your home computer or you know a family member's computer. Uh, that way, this is a beta. You can't really. You're, it, it even tells you that you're not supposed to go live with it, like DJing with it, because it has. It's a beta. It could mess up. It could uh, crash. It could. You know, a lot of things could happen. So, just something to point out. All right. So the next thing we need to go do is fresh start, fresh computer, Windows computer, not a MacBook. And that's the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people are just showing you how to do this on Mac. I want to show it on Windows. So we're going to go ahead and search Serato DJ Stims. And you come down to the, the drop page of Serato, uh, which is a very cool page that has 
a lot of uh, how to's, you know, they can nice little tutorials, how to, inspiration announcements, things that are going on. So I'm going to go back real quick. And you see the big thing is stems, and it's going to show you join the public beta. So that's what we want to do. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see a bunch of downloads here and a bunch of uh, normal discussions on, you know, questions, a bunch of questions that are people asking and answers, okay? But all we need to do is go into the download. There's two links here. So, so you have a Mac. So if you have a Mac, download this download right here. And if you have a Windows computer, you're going to want to download the Windows version. Now, I already downloaded, so it's ready to go. So we're going to go ahead. If you download it, just make sure you know where it should be in your downloads. So we are going to go to my file explorer and I'm going to go to my downloads and it is right here now it does come in a compressed zip file so you're going to want to side click and you're going to want to extract all and then it's going to open right here and you notice this doesn't have a little zipper on it there so this is the extracted file we're going to go ahead and open that one and then we're going to go ahead and just run it so we're going to go ahead and double click this. We're going to go ahead and run it or you can side click and open. So once we do this, we are going to be basically downloading the new Serato DJ Pro beta. It is a 3.0.0 version. We're going to get this is the welcome to Serato DJ Pro installer. You might want to take a look, quick read through that, but if you've had Serato already, you're kind of familiar. And we're going to go ahead and allow it to go ahead and update this. Now, I did have Serato DJ Pro on this computer before, but like I said, I had some issues. So I totally uninstalled everything Serato DJ Pro, went into my program files, and also erased all of any files that are in there. So we are pretty much starting from scratch. The only thing I did leave is my playlist folder that way it might save my playlist for my crates but if it doesn't i won't be offended but for the most part we are doing a fresh install of serato dj pro beta on this particular windows 10 laptop just to follow up we are doing this live i'm going to struggle through it with you that way we can see if there's any more hiccups this is Windows 10, it will work on Windows 11. Everything is good to go. It is probably running a little slow because I am running OBS Studios. Like I said, this is a 2015 Alienware i7. Uh, so this is a little older, but everything should be going pretty good. All right, so let's close this. Let's close the download page there. And you can see that we have our Serato DJ Pro icon here. We're gonna go ahead and click this to open the file and see if we can get the new stems to go ahead and open and we got everything taken care of we got it downloaded I showed you where to get that done once again I warned you to make sure you do this on a home computer and not do not use it on your gig laptop now we're gonna go ahead and open Serato DJ Pro the new beta that you know that it's not unstable you shouldn't use it for live performances and things like that because it's a beta so we're just testing it out at this point, you have to literally, you can't try to click on this at all. You have to literally hit enter to get into the program. So I've already opened this up before. Got my music in here. And, you know, I can show you a couple things. Now, notice I don't have access to the stems right now. And this is why Serato DJ Pro kind of frustrates me a little bit because it always wants you to have software to hardware and things like that. So I don't have the access to the stems right now and this is the stems program like I, there's the stems right here I have loaded tracks that have been loaded into the stems program here but I really can't access the stems if I load something in here guys if I put this in here right now and I put this in here right now I don't have access to mess with the stems right now luckily of course I'm a mobile DJ so I have tons of controllers and I can plug into I have a starlight here that I'm just going to use to make a demonstration I'm going to plug in my starlight it's going to read that real quick and then it's going to give me access to the full program and then I have my stems here 
So you can see the stems are here, okay? So I just want to make a point of that too. That's why Serato DJ Pro frustrates me sometimes that you just, you can't do stuff without having other stuff. And that's why it frustrates me. With Virtual DJ Pro, you don't have to worry about things like that because you open the program, everything's there via the computer that you can use just straight off the computer. You don't need a controller, you don't need anything else. Everything is there, and that's why sometimes Serato DJ Pro fresh, frustrates me. Because if you have one thing, you might have to need another thing to make to get everything you need to work perfectly. And and sometimes that frustrates me. But I'm not gonna get on that. I'm just showing you in the tutorial here. So then we have our stems, which is pretty cool. So we're this is uh, should be royalty free music that I have downloaded uh, from YouTube. So we can go ahead and load these in here go ahead and do that and you can still get back to your like if you want to do a a uh, queue here you can you can get your cues I'm gonna, I need to get some stuff with some words in here so we're gonna go back and like I said you can still get to your cues here and we're gonna go ahead and start this up and like I said I can still get to my stems so we're gonna go ahead and press play here I don't know how the volume will be on my screen recording so Hopefully it's not too loud. We'll figure that out when we get there. But we'll go ahead and press play on this. And I'm going to actually have to go into my settings and go to audio, use laptop speakers, and double click that. And go back. And then probably go into my audio. You got the starlight here. I'm going to double click on that to get my audio working here. We should be good. There we go. So you guys can hear that. I can go into my stems here. And see now we just got a bass line and drums. No bass. Took out the drums. There's no vocals anyways. But I do like that you have these instrument breakers that can kind of just it's like some FX, some extra FX. So you could do some good transitions with things like that. That would be pretty cool. I do like that. I do like the FX on the stems. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to stop this one. This one actually has some words, so we should be able to get a little words demo here. And like I said, the stems is working on an older computer. This is an old 2015 computer, uh, Alienware, but it's you know was top of the line back in the day, but is not top of the line now. All right, so then we're gonna go press play. This one's got some words in it. Go to our stems. Got some melody. Great instrumental, and then we'll put some words in it. Yeah. Go another round. Yeah, and then put the words back in. So I do like the stems. They do sound pretty decent. I think the ones that sound the best, in my opinion, it's actually DJ Algorithm does a great job. Uh, Virtual DJ, Virtual DJ, in my opinion, would come in second. But I think the vocals are a little bit better right now on Serato DJ Pro. Other than that, I think the instrumentals and bass and drums sound a little bit better on Virtual DJ, in my opinion. And that's just from ear. I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison right now, but I do plan on doing a video on that in the future. The vocals sound just a little bit better on certain songs because they actually take them out on Virtual DJ. A lot of them, you can still hear 
a little bit of the voice in the background depending on the song so they're very very close but they sound pretty good but I do like the extra feature of the vocal echoes the instrument echoes you could do some really cool transitions and things with the uh, melody echo uh, I do like that as you we kinda saw that earlier so this has been a tutorial on how to get Serato DJ Pro 3.0 dash O on the Windows computer Windows 10, Windows 11 should be very, very similar. Now that I have a fresh install on this, you know, you could still put Serato DJ Pro, uh, the, ac the actual uh, live version on here still, and have both versions on here. You just have to change the name. Now that I have the beta program on here, it'll say Serato DJ Pro Beta, and then you can have a Serato DJ Pro 2.8 version, uh, or I, I would name it Live. That way you know it's the one that you can go live with and uh, do your DJing with so you can have both versions I wouldn't really suggest that there's just the chance for confusions with your library and things like that uh, so it's a little harder to do so I would just play with this version on a separate computer uh, and have some fun with it I think it's very very cool that they do uh, are finally putting this on Serato DJ Pro that is exciting I do like the the FX on the melody and the vocals. That's kind of cool. You could do some cool transitions with that as well. I don't think it's the end of EQing or anything like that. I still think that works a lot better. But this is a good step for Serato DJ Pro to jump up and catch up with uh, teams like Virtual DJ Soft. A very very cool software. Thanks for tuning in, DJ Martini West. If this was a good tutorial, helps anybody at all. Please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, do you you think this is great uh, technology? If you're a really Serato, big Serato user, I'm sure this is going to up your game. If you use other softwares, like I said, I don't think this is a huge thing because they have had this on other softwares. So it's not super groundbreaking. I think it is a little bit of a clickbait type item uh, when everybody's saying it's just extraordinary and, you know, like, like it's never been around. But it has been around with platforms like Virtual DJ and DJ Algorithm. Even Tractor did have their own form of STEM. So thank you so much for tuning in. Tell me what you think. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. And please like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you guys all later.